before us, then. I hate A24 Productions. They suck. Why I hate them exactly? Well, there's a lot of reasons of why I fucking hate them. There's a lot of fucking reasons why. Because they make shitty fucking movies. That's why I hate them. Well, that's why they're on my fucking... On my channel of uh, X mark on it. it. Took me a long time to get to this fucking video because I was doing other shit. Doing other shit. But now January 2021, there's barely anything coming out. So for like two things that's going to be coming in January 2021 on this channel. So right now I'm doing this because nothing going on for new movies coming out until like mostly February and through present time. So let's talk about why I hate A24 Productions. So A24 Productions had started in August 20th, 2022 in New York. So they've been doing this for at least nine years. Making shitty fucking movies. All those nine years. Well, really eight years because they started releasing movies in 2013. But fuck it. They started they started their company in 2012. Especially shit like Spring Breakers. It's a really stupid fucking movie. With uh, Selena Gomez and all these people. James Franco is, the, is their fucking pimp. Making fun of a rapper named... Um, what's, that, what's that fucking guy's name? I, I kind of actually listened to one of the songs. So that's it. Uh, Riff Raff. That's what it was. And that dude's like a fucking crackhead, cocaine head motherfucker. That movie sucked dick. Then they had shit like Tusk. Another movie was by Kevin Smith. Another shitty fucking movie. I don't know why they left, let him in the fucking building because he sucks ass at making movies. That's all they want. They only want this shitty uh, fucking. I mean, Kevin, J Kevin Smith wasn't a shitty director in the past. He wasn't. He, he made like great movies. After Clerks 2, he sucked dick. He started making a lot of stupid bullshit. He said it's just retiring, like he said before. Just kept fucking going on and on in their fucking bullshit, making stupid fucking movies. <laughs> Alright, so then we got like Ex Machina. You remember Ex Machina? It's like some stupid horror movie where this robot is killing people and shit. That's like fucking stupid as hell. They got another called Very Legal with Haley Steinfeld. It's another fucking stupid movie. I mean, I like Haley Steinfeld as an actress, but this shit was fucking trash. Fucking. They got Samuel Jackson there, and he he barely says motherfucker in there. Like, how do you gonna use how you gonna misuse him like that? Samuel Jackson was used the f word many fucking times, but I forgot the movie's PG thirteen, so you can't say hey motherfucker. So you're basically wasting his fucking time being that fucking movie. Also, Steve O's in there. He barely does anything either. All right, next what's here? Dark places. I think I heard this movie before. Coley Grace Moretz, Christina Hendricks, Nicholas Holt. I forgot. I forgot what that's about. I, I might look it up later. Uh, I, f I forgot. Then like, what's my fucking shit? Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. All right, I figured out about the dark places. It's about this stupid fucking movie with that stupid bitch Charlie Theron. Who searches for who killed her, her fucking mother and two sisters? Who gets a fucking rat's ass about that shit? You know, I like Charlie's Darren anyways because she's a fucking bitch in real life. Force a kid to be a transgender and shit. So I fucking read about before. Like, you can't fucking force a kid to be a transgender. Get the fuck out of here. It's not, it's not cool doing shit like that. I don't think you guys knew about that shit either. But it's fucking true. It's fucking true. I read about that shit. She forced some fucking kid to be a, a tranny. Some boy. She tried to force him to be a fucking tranny. It's fucking stupid. You can't do shit like that. That's why I don't fuck with her anymore. She heard her that shit. Even before, I thought she was a fucking bitch. And her dumb shit came out. Uh, Moonlight. Another fucking dumbass movie. It's basically two gay guys fucking each other. Two black gay guys fucking each other. That's the basic whole fucking movie is. It's a black broken back, broken back mountain. Like, I really want to see shit like that. I want to see two gay guys fucking each other. You think I want to fucking see shit like that? No. Get the fuck out of here with that. That's, that's fucking disgusting. I, I'm a straight guy. I can't see shit like that. The fuck my brain up. Give me fucking nightmares. Another dumbass movie called Ladybird. All these dorky fucking kids. 
dopey liberal kids doing stupid liberal shit, being fucking a bunch of little pussy bitches. That's the whole fucking movie that's about. It's about dumb bitches. That's the whole fucking movie that is. Another one was The Spectacular Dow, another stupid fucking movie about romance bullshit, all this stupid lovey dovey shit. Like, I don't give a fuck about that either. That shit's it's fucking stupid. Like, I don't, I don't want stupid shit like that, you know? I'm only into fucking action and comedy shit. That's it. I don't, I don't fuck with romance shit. If I see, if I see someone fucking each other, I, I go watch Pornhub. That's all I fucking do. I watch fucking Pornhub. I'm not watching that shit. And here we go with Heredity. Hered Dirty, or whatever you fucking pronounce it. That's gonna be like one of the dumbest shit they ever produce. The dumbest shit ever. All about their grandma is haunting them and beating the shit out of them. That's the whole fucking movie. That's it. The fucking end. That's that's the whole fucking movie. It's, it's fucking stupid as hell. Like, what the fuck is that? You, you think that's actually a good fucking writing movie? You must be fucking insane. I think that's just a good fucking writing movie. This other stupid shit, Midsommar, or Midsommar or something. All these stupid fucking kids show up to this, to these low-life degenerates doing these weird fucking hippie, doopy, gooby, stoopy, doopy shit. And they all get fucking murdered. One jumps off a fucking cliff. All that other fucking bullshit. It makes no fucking sense what's fucking going on. And I was like, oh, the, the sky doesn't change. It doesn't go to dark. It's always sunlight. All See, this is the problem with these movies. This is the problem with these movies. Maybe like one of these characters has a fucking gun and murders all these fucking people. Then it'd be just fine. Everybody just fine. You have like a fucking gun. And you just fucking kill these fucking people. That's it. It's not just... Oh, let's, let's just let them murder us. Let's, let's just kill us. Let's do a lot of these fucking weird voodoo shit on us. No. No, you grab a fucking gun. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. That's it. They're fucking dead. You kill these fucking characters all. They're dead. No, no, no. Let's make it like the stupidest shit ever. No, guns are bad. Let's not use guns at all. God fucking damn it. Stupid shit like this fucking movie. Stupid shit like this. I, I, I can't stand fucking movies like this. This is the reason why I hate A24. They, they, they produce the dumbest fucking movies ever. It might be worse than the other one I, I did rant on before. Uh, Blumhouse. I think they're, maybe they're worse than Blumhouse. Because they make a lot of stupid fucking movies. I think the only movie I like from A24 is The Disaster Artist. You know that Tommy Wiseau, Ducky, Tommy Wiseau biopic? You remember that movie? The, the Room? Is it, you remember that? That, 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 that was pretty good because it had James Franco and Seth Rogen they wrote the fucking movie of Tommy Wiseau that's the only fucking movie I like they produced that's it everyone else sucks dick I hate every other fucking movie people, people ask me about Get Out I haven't watched Get Out so I can't fucking judge that fucking movie I can't judge that shit it, it, look, it looks fine but I'm not gonna watch it because I don't fucking watch shit like that all the fucking movies they make on here, especially the other movie Slow West with Western cowboys and shit, there's it, it barely anything going on in that movie. No, there's it, it barely ain't, it barely that much gunslinging going on. People think, oh, it's a great movie. Kiss My Ass is not a good fucking movie, man. Are you kidding me? I think that shit's fucking good. They just talk all day. What the fuck? That's not Western. Western's about gunslinging and shooting people. What the fuck is wrong with people these days? I don't know what, what a fucking cowboy movie is anymore. Ugh, it's all about talk, 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 talk. That's all they talk. That's all they do is just talk. I hate this talking. I want to see someone get shot and murdered. A24 Films or A24 Productions is a terrible fucking company that needs to burn in the ground. They're terrible. They're just like fucking Blumhouse. They're both fucking terrible production companies. They're awful. Every time they produce a movie, it's shit. Every fucking week on it, it's just shit. Shit in my palm of my hand from monkey ass shit. That's basically what it is. All these movies they make is basically mostly for fucking liberals. Mostly for dorky liberals. It's mostly these fucking movies for. And uh, the, the support the gay agendas too. That's, just, that's all it is. That's all it fucking is. Oh, they don't care about us normal people though. Oh no, they don't care about us. They want to like, like just torture us with the shitty fucking movies. That's what they like, like to fucking do. For the love of God, please listen to me. Don't watch these fucking movies by A24. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to ruin your life, I'm telling you. You're going to ruin your fucking life. Don't watch these fucking movies. People are going to ask me about mid-90s, the other movies they did. That was alright. Mid-90s is alright. That and 
Disaster Artist are the only two fucking movies I like from these people. It's the only fucking two. Like, like I said, other shit besides that, like Life After Beth, that was stupid. And also, Aldi Plaza, I, I love Aldi Plaza, but she, the movie did fucking terrible for her. Like, she never had like a really good movie by herself. She always had these shitty fucking movies she does. There's another one too, which she did is called Ingrid Goes West by AT24. Another one that was fucking shitty too. Uh, like, like I said, 80% of the movies at A24 they suck ass. It's all but all for, just to attend liberals and, and gay agendas. That's the that's the whole fucking company's for it to attend them, not to attend us. No, not attend us normal people, normal straight people. Nope, none of that. All about is watching two black guys fuck each other or see a bunch of flowers grow on somebody's body. A bunch of fucking blossoms and cherries grow on somebody's body. Do much of these hip hipperoos, flippity doos, hippie dances. Oh yeah. I forgot I was a rant about the lighthouse. Hold on. That movie this movie was, was a boring piece of shit. It's like watching shit dry on the wall. That's all I was watching. Shit dry on the wall. All these fucking stupid sailors at the lighthouse just jerking each other off and not trying to be gay for each other. That's the whole fucking movie. And they keep shouting at each other. Rah, 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 rah. I'm surprised a fucking Kraken to come out and fucking eat them or something. Because this is so fucking boring. They just yell at each other. They just yell at each, yell at each other's cocks. That's the whole fucking movie. Who the fuck wants to sit through that shit? Like, who wants to sit through that? It's somehow some retard was saying on IMDb was saying that how these guys end up getting an Oscar for this movie? Why didn't they get an Oscar for this movie? Why? Why? Maybe because they didn't jack off enough. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Because maybe they didn't jack off a little bit more and just splatter all each other's faces, and then they want to want to Oscar. They just jizz a whole bunch of gooey jizz on their faces. Then they'll win a fucking Oscar for that movie. Bam, right there. Gay agenda. And then, then they fucking won the movie. They fucking won. They won the Oscars. There you go. But no, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. So they didn't win the Oscar because they didn't jizz on each other's faces. They didn't jack off on each other's faces. <sighs> Fuck. It's like, it was like a, a long, boring skit. A long, boring comedy skit. That's all. Basically, I was fucking watching. A long, boring comedy skit that won't fucking end. It won't fucking stop. It just keep going on and on and about fucking bullshit sailor shit. It was so annoying. It would been more awesome if they were actually fighting a kraken or something or a fucking giant octopus squid. That would one more fucking badass, and he's shooting harpoons at him. See, I came up with a great idea right there. That'd be a way better a lighthouse movie right there. I'm gonna find, find a fucking giant ass octopus shooting fucking harpoons at it. Right there, that's awesome, isn't it? No, no, no. I just had a bunch of guys just, uh, bully towards cocks. I just have that whole fucking movie about that. Ah, oh, oh, I like your hot breath on my dick. Oh, oh. oh yeah, someone's gonna, gonna ask me about uncut gems. <sighs> I didn't like the movie because how about Amsterdam gets killed off in the ending of the movie? Oh, I'm sorry, I spoiled the movie for you. Oh, you're not even gonna get fucking mad at me. I don't give a fuck. Eat shit. No. Yeah, that's a, I didn't like it because he could get killed on like Scarface in the end of the movie. That's why I really didn't fuck with it. So yeah, fuck that movie too. That, that was stupid as hell. He just gets killed off, even though he paid everybody off, he still gets fucking murdered like Scarface. I'm surprised they had that ending music of Scarface area after that too. Fucking splattered blood everywhere and shit. Like splattered period. Yeah, I said splattered period. But whatever. I'm, I'm fucking out of here. I just. Fuck A24. They suck ass.